You know the saying that goes, when it rains, it pours? That's kind of what it feels today as the stories around Nintendo Switch 2 keep evolving as more and more people get involved in telling these stories. Now, what are we talking about? Well, earlier today, we had a couple of Nintendo Switch 2 stories. One of them was about hundreds of developers currently admitting they are making games for Nintendo Switch 2. That was really cool. The other story had to do with the fact that there's actually pre-orders for Nintendo Switch 2 from a certain outlet in Japan. In fact, this outlet right here named Mecha Japan. And nothing wrong with this per se. There's not a high likelihood that this individual retail outlet actually heard anything and could have made guesswork. But what if I were to tell you they apparently are not the only retail outlet handling pre-order business. And in fact, a bunch of retailers worldwide might be about to do similar things because they've actually heard legit information. Beyond that as well, we have also some stuff floating out there about when Nintendo Switch 2 could possibly be revealed along with a few games that we should maybe expect to come alongside the Nintendo Switch 2 this year coming from some journalists and a known insider. So we have to talk about that as well. First, let's get into the retail stuff and how we know, or at least there's a rumor that a bunch of retailers are now hearing about the Nintendo Switch shoes so they could prepare. Now this stuff comes from one of my friends and look, he is amazing at research. Andres Restart and he does speak and understand Spanish and he was watching a YouTube channel called Nintendo Leaks as you can see here in his video today and what Nintendo Leaks did is claim they have their own sources that a bunch of retailers in Spain and other countries are hearing about the Nintendo Switch 2 officially from Nintendo that way they can prepare to get pre-orders ready to go both in store and online. Now, of course, this is a rumor, right? We can't verify, Andres Restart can't verify, I can't verify who these sources are and figure this out. So it's a rumor and I don't really have Nintendo leaks on my rumor believability scale because I've never really covered anything officially from them before. So. For now, they're just kind of out there as a mystery, but it is quite fascinating that if they are correct, it means all that happened is this retailer in Japan just jumped the gun on information that many retailers are currently getting about Nintendo Switch 2. And we could, in fact, within a week or two, at least by the end of January, see a bunch of these pre-order pages start to pop up as retailers prepare for the inevitable Switch 2 announcement. So. I do find it at least worth noting that we're, the news today isn't just about that Japanese retailer that does have it on pre-order. It's also about something much bigger. Now, we're not done there because, look, that is really cool, and it's an unverified rumor, and it's pretty neat. But we have to talk about some predictions and other information coming in from people who are pretty high on my rumor believability scale. So we're going to be talking about two people in particular. We have Christopher Dring, who I forgot to put on my rumor believability scale, but he is a video game journalist with inside knowledge, and he's often given us all the sales data out of the UK. And then we have Necro Felipe Lima from Universo Nintendo. As, as you can see on my rumor believability scale, he is one of the most trustworthy people out there. He's in the reliable category. So we're going to get into some predictions they put out there and what Necro Felipe Lima had to say about said predictions, because to me, it's honestly quite fascinating. So first, let's get to Christopher Dring's original tweet out here where he said, my Switch 2 predictions will be wrong, but let's see how wrong. Nintendo to tease Switch 2 before the end of March, possibly at the next Direct, but I think standalone. And he does think there'll be a separate full reveal event in the summer that it'll launch in September with a new Mario and that Mario Kart 9 will come in October with cross-platform Pokemon in November. Now, these are fairly safe predictions. And if these were on their own, we probably wouldn't include them in this video. Look, everyone's making predictions at this point from analysts to journalists. We're YouTubers. Like, we're all just trying to put in our best guesses on when this stuff could come. But then Necro Felipe Lima had to chime in 
And if you look at what he had to say, just to prove he's replying to the same tweet, he says, I don't think it will be too off besides the next Mario Kart number being 10 and not 9. So he's, one, saying, hey, Mario Kart 9, probably not what they're going to call it. And that could be true because Nintendo could consider Mario Kart Tour to be Mario Kart 9, uh, even though they didn't have a number. So maybe they would call it Mario Kart 10 or Mario Kart X, however they want to do. Or they might not use numbers at all. We don't really know. But he says that Mario Kart, and this is just a guess from him, will come only in 2025, and a new 3D should arrive first. So quite interesting to dig into this, and obviously got to consider the full context of what they're talking about. He says, you know, I don't think this will be too off, and he's talking about the entire context of this, such as the Nintendo Switch 2 being teased and or shown by the end of March, obviously, 3D Mario tossed in there as well with a cross-platform Pokemon. I honestly think that this is quite fascinating that consistently, Nintendo insiders keep pointing to March for a reveal. It, this just keeps happening. Nate the Hate has done it, and he's got, I believe, a new podcast episode coming soon where he's going to get his full predictions in for Nintendo in 2024, but previously, on previous podcast episodes, he has noted that he thinks it's going to be revealed in March. So if he's still thinking March, especially when his podcast episode comes out, Necrofolipe is saying March. We have insiders, you know, Dr. Cirque and Toto sort of hinting towards March. We have other people, Necrofolipe Lima, Christopher Dring, you know, all predicting March. March, March, March keeps being the date thrown out and a lot of this ties back to the gamescom stuff from last year for those who don't remember there was some rumored demos at gamescom shown off behind the scenes to select developers and they kept hearing march march now we weren't giving context for what march meant it literally and it still could just be an internal date like you need to have your games ready by march if you want them to be included in a future launch trailer or at launch of the new platform that could literally be all that is an internal date it also could have been an external date that they were hearing about march as in march is when nintendo's revealing this system and you can finally talk about what you're working on it that's the weird thing is none of the developers behind the scenes that talked to these insiders gave them what march meant and maybe it's because nintendo never gave them what march meant or maybe it's just they're under nda right it's one thing to say march it's another thing to break nda and tell people exactly what that march date meant but Either way, March has been really floated out there since September of last year, and now it seems everybody that has connections in the industry, from video game journalists to insiders, keep pointing to March as being the time to expect Nintendo Switch 2 to be revealed. Also, well, most people are still expecting there to still be a Nintendo Direct next month, whether it's a full Direct or a Mini. So that's fascinating as well. And as Christopher Drink says, hey, it could be revealed in the Direct. That doesn't seem likely, but hey, this is Nintendo. This is new management. Who knows how they want to handle the reveal of this new platform? So it's going to be quite fascinating. And I just wanted to put this all together because there's so much floating out there right now with nintendo switch 2 and the stories keep evolving i know on my last video earlier today i said man it could be a month before we talk about switch 2 again and here we are in the same day with a new video i get it it's quite weird what's happening out in the world of the internet right now but you know what this i think just feels normal right it feels normal heading into the reveal of a new system the launch of a new system i remember all of the PlayStation 5 days before they revealed PlayStation 5. So this was early 2020. And man, there was so much rumors, so much buzz, so much stuff just floating around out there about the PlayStation 5. And Sony had yet to even officially unveil it. Now, technically, they did announce it uh, as existing. And if you want to argue Nintendo announced it as existing, that because they mentioned their next generation system back in 20. 21 that's right nintendo told us nintendo accounts are going to be forward compatible with their next system so they technically announced the next system was coming you know years ago but we're here we are in 2024 we're just gonna have to buckle up it's gonna be a bit of a wild ride a bit of a bumpy one some of these rumors will turn out to be true some of these predictions will turn out to be true some of this stuff is going to turn out to be false all we can do is strap up because it sure seems likely that Nintendo switch 2 is coming this year just remember, 
These are rumors until proven otherwise. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I am going to catch you all in the next video.